You know who Cody reminds me of in some ways? Is a far superior Lex Luger when Lex was doing that chase mm-hmm. at, uh, against Yokozuna. He doesn't have a bus, but, you know, he's... Uh, got a tattoo. He's clearly the next guy. Yeah, he's got the, uh, the tattoo and everything like that. We do not need another SummerSlam 1993. Do you understand? <sighs> we do not. Cody needs to win this title at WrestleMania. Full stop, okay? I realize that they have been building up that Roman is almost at 1,000 days. I realize that the next Saudi Arabia show is like at day 1,000, right around there. But listen, they had Sammy and Roman in Montreal, and I argued that Sammy should have won the title that night, and everyone said no, and they had all of their reasons for it, and one of the big ones is, why do you build up a guy for 900 days, have him lose in Montreal, win it back, and then lose it at WrestleMania? Everybody was all, this is important, this, this run, this 900 days, blah, 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 blah. Guys, do you know when the Saudi Arabia show is going to air? It's like at 10 a.m. on a Saturday, okay? Mm. You're really, you're really going to have Roman as champion for 1,000 days so that he can lose a title on a Saturday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern or Pacific? No, okay? Roman's had the title long enough. I know that I know that some of you are convinced that this 900 days is really important. It's actually not. And one of the reasons it's not is because it would it would matter if it were an all-time record. It's not. It's a Modern day record. He has not held the title as long as Bruno. He has not held the title as long as Backlund. He has not held the title as long as Hogan. He, uh, I mean, you can go on and on, okay? It's not really a record. Uh, more so, when you're trying to make a record special, it has to be special. And the thing they have done for the last three years, for whatever reason, is everybody has to set a record. Charlotte's got the record number of women's titles. So-and-so broke the women's record streak. The Usos are now on a streak. Like, we've had one record-breaking. Like, every champion that comes out, they're like, you know, uh, Gunther is has set the modern record for the longest intercontinental champion. Like, dude, everyone has a fucking record. It doesn't mean jack shit, okay? They tell you it means shit. But it's not going to, like, make a difference in business, these, these imaginary records they're giving you, or even these real records, okay? It's time for him to drop the title. Do not stall Cody's momentum by doing this whole thing and having him lose at WrestleMania. It's a horrible idea. Like, you beat Sammy. It's done. It's over. Montreal can never happen again. It's finished. But you don't need to fuck it up twice. So he needs to win. Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why You're does he do that? me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Someone needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.